Hi, it's Darren from Hack5, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to manually upgrade the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And I'm doing this because I have my Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano connected to my Android smartphone over USB. And I'm going to go ahead and get started here by tethering. And enable USB tethering. And then, as soon as that's checked, there we go, return. And this will go ahead and create a connection with Wi-Fi Pineapple and get me over to the web interface. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'll actually be configuring the Wi-Fi Pineapple not over the web interface, but manually. So really what I just need here is to get that address. So I see it's 192.168.42.15. So this guy right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy that. So what I've done here is I've already downloaded manually a copy of the um, a copy of uh, an upgrade.bin like you would do over the air except I'm going to do this manually with SSH and so the first step of the process is I need to go ahead and get this file copied over to the temp directory on the pineapple so I'm going to SCP this so I've already set this up here but uh, otherwise in and FTP you would create a new connection and I would just go ahead and paste this in here and the default and uh, we're going to change it from FTP to SCP which is over SSH and then the user is going to be root and I'm going to type in my test password which is test there we go so I'm going to go ahead and save this I'm going to name it that and oh, there we go okay so let me go ahead and connect so what this does is it opens up kind of like a, it's almost like an FTP client except it's using uh, SCP which is um, the file copy over SSH so I'm going to go up a folder and here we are I'm on my Wi-Fi pineapple what I want to do is copy this file over to slash TMP so I'm going to go into temp and from here I'm going to say upload oops I'm going to switch over to my phone now. So now I'm on my phone and I'm going to go into my download directory and I have this upgrade bin here. I'm going to select it and I'm going to say upload and I'm going to hit OK. So that's now uploading it to slash TMP. So as soon as that finishes, great. Now I can come over to my SSH client. In that case, I use ConnectBot. I prefer ConnectBot. And I've already set it up similarly, root at 192.168.42.15. Your IP address is going to be different. It's just what your phone gives your pineapple. So I'm going to tap that. And let me go ahead and say yes. And enter in my password. Great. Now, um, and sorry I can't make this horizontal for you, so hopefully that comes out in the video. But the command that you'll want to do is sys upgrade tac n that's very important and then slash tmp slash up or whatever the file name is so I'm going to hit uh, tap on the screen to hit tab completion and actually I do not remember file name so let me hit tab a few times there we go and it is called uh, 2016 yes so if I give it 2016 and then hit tab should auto complete that so I've got sys upgrade tac n slash temp slash and then the file name so this is going to do the firmware update make sure that your battery is fully charged or you've got it plugged into the mains otherwise um, you could you know you'd have to go through the recovery process if uh, you lost power in the middle of this uh, make sure you're not running pine ap and uh, a bunch of other services so kill those if you haven't already and there we go so just go ahead and run that and now it's upgrading so this is the manual process for upgrading and i thought i would show you hey you can in fact do this on an android phone i know i've, I've done it in a few situations in development when i wanted to test out some cool stuff so there you go uh there you have it and uh cheers